B Queen is a pretty strong boss, but they do have some S tier drops. Like the B Queen Crown that reverses Insanity Auras, Jelly Beans that can heal up to 120 health, and the Bundling Wrap that can store food forever! forever! All of her drops can help you with each of the different meters in the game. Jelly Beans for health, Bundling Wrap for food, and the B Queen Crown for sanity. So this is a really nice boss to kill. But how do you do it? Well, unless you're playing um, Windy or Winona, where you will not have a problem with this boss, then you're going to want to use um, this method. Now, some things you'll need to prepare are a bunch of pan flutes, which is why I'm not only in winter, but also killing mandrakes. Early spring is the best time to fight Bee Queen, as it leads you room to do other spring stuff, like kill Moose Goose and do pearl quests. Anyway, you'll need a bunch of mandrakes, a bunch of reeds, and a bunch of grass to make pan flutes, and also a bunch of silk, a bunch of grass, um, to make bee queen helmets, or bee keeper hats, I think is what they're called, because those allow you to, they're pretty much just football helmets, except you won't get stunlocked, which is necessary for the fight, pretty much. Also, I forgot to mention this, you need speed, bring magical luminescence, walking cane, and hope that there's roads, or put your own roads next to a bee queen area. Actually managing to kill some of the pinnacles. So many glands. Anyways, once you gather enough reeds, make enough rope, and also you probably want to prepare a lot of healing food like pierogi, because Queen Bee, I don't know. If you run out of pan flutes, then you're pretty much going to need to spam heals. This boss fight is kind of annoying, and I really wish they reworked it. However, it it's fine. Just you, you just have to use a lot of pan flutes, and it's annoying. Anyway, once you have a lot of pan flutes, a lot of beekeeper hats, and a lot of healing, as well as your your roads, magic luminescence, uh, bee queen thing, and whatever. Also, please note that because I'm playing WX, I'll be way faster than you will be in the guide, because WX is just awesome like that. Also, if you're playing Wolfgang or Wanda, or another character that does just more damage like Wigfred, then you'll probably need less. Um, beekeeper, or not bee, yeah, less beekeeper hats and less pan flutes. However, if you're not playing them, I'd bring like five. I did run out of pan flutes at the very end of the fight. Bee Queen does have 22,000 health, which is a bit less than Dragonfly, so I would recommend using a Hambat, as it won't run out of durability, so you can continue to use it for a lot of damage. For first form, Queen Bee, she has four phases, by the way, you're going to want to kill all but one of her Grumble Bees and then just tank her use your dual sight suit or whatever else you brought. Oh yeah, you might want to bring a little bit of armor just for this. You're not going to have time to attack her this much during the rest of the boss fight. So yeah, phase one is not too hard. Kite when you can, but I wouldn't recommend trying that hard. She puts honey under you, that slows you down, which is super annoying. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, surely she's going to cut away from me. Oh, there we go. She's going in her next phase. I think when she ch changes phase, she screams, but in her later phases, she screams anyway, so it's kind of hard to tell. Anyway, in phase two, she will spawn a group of two sets of Grumble Bees. If you kill any of them, she'll just replace them, so don't even bother. Unless you're playing, you know, Windy or Winona. Or even Wormwood, because Bramble Husks. I should have added him to the list. Anyways, you're going to want to put her to sleep and then just hit her a little bit and then put her to sleep again. You're just going to want to spam pan for the rest of the boss fight, but I'll get into the exact methods. Anyway, you can see that I just hit her, and then moved aside to hit her again, because she will not instantly attack you. She'll try to strafe to awake her bees. So you can get some more damage in while she's trying to scream, and then just run away. Strategy. I want to hit her on her way out. Oh my gosh, I'm getting so much wetness. Stop raining already, game. Just stop raining.
Well, I'm definitely not going to run out of beekeeper hats because I'm not getting hit at all. Here you can see her first third phase attack of screaming to make her grumble bees mad. This is where you really need all the speed and also the strat is generally to try and run away, put them to sleep and then go 1v1 bee queen. So you might need that dual sight suit or whatever you brought. Even log suits would work. Come on. Yes. I'm W speed 78. Oh no, I didn't- No, let me target the right thing! Full size suit is down, and I can finally start, like, actually using my heels. Ugh! Last pan fruit. No! Okay, so now I'm just gonna lead them away and then run back to beat her up for a little bit. So I've got the heels now. Oh, it's gonna be so annoying. Okay, so her fourth phase is kind of just her doing screaming more often, which is like kind of hard to tell, especially when the phase transition is also just another scream. So yeah, just once you get to third phase, it's kind of just like over and out from there. If you run out of pan flutes like I did, you just run away and then run back. It's kind of difficult, but um, yeah, you'll make it through as long as you've got enough healing. Watch her around. She move. Oh, she's dead, finally. Let's go. I better have gotten the seven and not the six. Oh, I got the low roll, bro. There, I will spare this last one. Go on, tell your next queen to fear me. Hold on, I want this meat and all these stingers for boat patches. So yeah, that is the bee queen cr fight, but and it took like literally 30 minutes. But that was alone, fighting a raid boss alone in a multiplayer game as a character that doesn't do more damage. That's like the um, the slowest the fight could be unless you're a super noob. Anyway, yeah, this wasn't really a cheese method, nor more of just like a how you normally fight the boss. But I think it's still kind of a fun fight. I don't know, her drops are really good. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, comment if this helps.